Welcome to the Something Special program. Hi, I'm Ginger. So glad you tuned in. Hi, I'm Aaron. Jesus rules. How are you? I'm Faith. Hi, I'm Evie. Smile. God loves you. Hi, my name is Mary Ruth. God bless you. Jesus is the real thing. Hi, I'm Amy Grace. I love you. Run, get your Bible. We're about to begin. And I'm Mr. Steve. Remember, no Bible, no breakfast. Welcome, welcome everyone to the Something Special program. Yeah, welcome everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Hi, Hardy. How you doing? Really good, Aaron. How are you? I'm doing great. Hey, how about hearing one of my, my favorite scripture verses? I hear you've been hiding the word in your heart. Yeah. Which one are you going to share with us today? John 1, 1 through 14. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Wow, that's wonderful. I like that scripture from John. Yeah, it really blesses me. Hey, there's Word Bird. That's Word Bird. Psalm 119.11. Psalm 119.11. Have I hidden my heart to my might not sin against me? Read the Word. Read the Word. Hey, can we all say that together? Psalm 119.11. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Now, let's hear the Star Family singers sing that song. Hey, that's good. The sun, the moon, and the stars, they're beautiful. Maybe the most beautiful are the stars in the heavens. But you know what? I have 12 stars right here with me today. And they are beautiful also. And they sing for the glory of God. And they have sung around the world, many countries. God has led them. And everywhere they've gone, they've been blessed over and over and over again. And souls are saved. An unusual family. This is the greatest family in America, ministering the word of God in song, the Star Family. I introduce them to you now because they've been away on a trip in the east, China, over in that part of the world. And God's led them safely back here, and they're making programs for us right here. And we thank God for them. So now I want you to meet 12 stars, and 10 of them are children. And this is a children's program, the Star Family. And they memorize scripture, and they teach people all over the world to memorize the precious word of God. God bless you as you listen and as you're blessed. Amen and amen. Thy word have I hid in my heart. Thy word have I hid in my heart. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. So hide the word in your heart. Hide the word in your heart. Hide the word in your heart and it will never depart. Thy word have I hid in my heart. Thy word have I hid in my heart. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Because the Bible is a wonderful book. The Bible is a wonderful book. Just open it up and take a look. You see, the Bible is a wonderful book. The Bible is a wonderful book. The Bible is a wonderful book. Open it up and take a look. You see, the Bible is a wonderful book. The Bible is a wonderful book. The Bible is a wonderful book. Just open it up.
what you doing? I'm building my muscles so I'll be strong. I'm practicing. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, see, look. My big muscles. I have oh, to wow. exercise. Oh, wow. And what about eating? Well, if you want to be strong, you have to eat lots of food and everything. But if you don't, then you get weak. If you don't eat, you get weak. Right. Hey, you know, boys and girls, we can learn a lesson from this. You know that if you don't read your Bible and you don't pray every day, you have a man inside of you that will shrink and get weak too. Isn't that far out, Paul? Yeah. And we know we need to build that inner man by reading the Bible and praying every day. That's great. Let's sing that song. Neglect your Bible, forget to pray, and you shrink, shrink, shrink. Neglect your Bible, forget to pray, and you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. What should we do? Read your Bible, pray every day, and we'll grow, grow, grow. Let's try that. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you grow, grow, grow. And you grow, grow, grow. And you grow, grow, grow. anything from the Lord. Hide you couldn't hide it under the refrigerator. Nothing from the Lord. The Lord can see everything. I'm just trying to obey the Bible. The Bible says hide the word. So I'm trying to find a good place to hide it. Excuse me. Hide the word. Hide, hide the, the word. word. Wait under a the minute. couch. Yeah, under the couch. Yeah, yeah. Johnny, well, hide under the couch. Johnny, yeah. wait a minute. Yeah. Johnny. Huh? Hide the word means to hide God's word in your heart. Oh, you mean like in my heart? Oh, I know what you do. You eat your Bible, right? Yeah, then no. it gets down in your heart. Yeah, where's my Bible? I'm going to eat it. Let's see. No, wait, Johnny. Wait, wait, wait. No, huh? no, you don't eat your Bible. You know your don't. mother wouldn't like it if you tried yeah, to, well, you know. Yeah, I guess that's not. That's not the way you get the Bible Dang. in your heart. Hey, well, I know what you do. You go to the hospital. They put you on the operating table. Cut, cut your heart open and put the Bible in. Yeah, I'm no, looking at an operation. No, Johnny, no, no. Oh, no, Johnny's oh, oh, oh. really mixed my, up. My mom said that was too expensive that I couldn't get an operation, but how do, I, how do I get God's Word down in my heart then? Johnny, you know, to get God's Word in your heart, you have to memorize it. Memo what? Memorize it. Memo by, memo. No, memo memorize it. Memorize it. What's that big long word mean? That means to know it by heart, Johnny, like you know your ABCs. Hey, I know my ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Huh? You need to know God's word by heart. Wait a minute. We don't want to sing the ABCs anymore. But we, I love you just need. Yes, the ABCs are very good, John. Yeah. But I'm trying to teach you a lesson. Okay. We need to memorize God's Word. Memorize God's Word. Know it by heart. Just like I know my ABCs. Wait. -E Johnny, wait. That's right. Shh. Sorry. The only way to learn is to listen. So All right. To I try listen. to listen. You know. I won't talk have, no more. <laughs> <laughs> you have two ears and one mouth. Mm -hmm. And we need to use them mm. in that proportion, right? Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Shh. Mm. So, Johnny, we need to memorize God's Word, and we need to learn it by heart so that we can say it in our sleep, and we can know it so that when we really need it, we'll have it. You mean that's why I memorize God's Word? That's right. It says in Psalm 119.11, this is the verse you heard, and you didn't hear the rest of it. You know, you need oh. to stop and listen to it. it says, yeah, I do need to listen more. That's right. Thy uh -huh. word have I hid. It sounds like that's as far yeah, as you listen. Yeah, I thought I was supposed to hide it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin, sin against, against thee. thee. Who's that thee? The thee is God. And, you know, God, we don't want to wow. sin against the Lord. No way. That's why I'm going to hide God's word in my heart.
That's right. That's if a good idea. If you didn't know that it was against the law to speed, Ooh. you might get a ticket. Yeah. Well, if you don't know God's word, you might sin against him. You might be sinning and not Ooh, know it if you don't know I God's wanna word. I want to do that. No. We I want to sin against God. No, we no don't want to sin. So are you going to start memorizing yeah, some I'm, of God's word? Yeah, I'm going to go word? memorize some of that God's word right now. Okay, why don't you start with Psalm 119.11. All right. Thy word have, have I, I hid in my, heart in my heart that I might not sin against God. Thee. That I might not sin against thee. Psalm 119, 11. Psalm 118, 51. No. Psalm no. 119, 11. Psalm 119, 11. Uh, hey, I said it. I did it. I did it. I hear God's <laughs> word in my heart. All right. Yeah, yeah. That's good, Johnny. I think Johnny's going to do good. And I'd like for Mr. Steve to tell us about the Hide the Word in Your Heart Club. You know, you can hide God's Word in your heart. I bet you know a lot of things by memory. You probably know your telephone number and your address, and you probably know all your friends' phone numbers. You know, you can memorize a lot, and we need to be memorizing the right things. So Mr. Steve's going to tell us all about the Hide the Word in Your Heart Club and memorizing God's Word. Let's go to him right now. That's right, boys and girls. You can join a Hide the Word in Your Heart Club, and it's one of the most exciting clubs you can be a part of. You see all these badges here? Mr. Steve, that's my name. We're wearing badges today to show you that you can earn these badges. You can't buy them. They're not for sale. No, nope. they're too expensive. That's right. They cost time. A few minutes a day to put God's Word in your heart so it'll come out your mouth and in your actions in your daily life. That's what these badges are all about. Let me explain this Hide the Word in Your Heart Club to you real quick. How many of you speak Chinese? How about French? Uh, maybe Dutch? I think maybe you speak English. All right, I see a few hands there. This is the little flyer called the Little Preacher Flyer. And this has got the Christian soldier on the front of it. As you can see, it says, Join the Hide the Word in Your Heart Club. Be a Christian soldier. And inside... It has the scriptures that you memorize to join this club. And on the back, it tells you how to earn your badge. That's the first badge. As you can see, I'm wearing some of the badges. And we have this in English. And now this one here is in Korean. If you have friends that speak the Korean language, we can send them this club and they can earn their badges in Korean. Also in Dutch. We have it in... Uh, Dutch language, if you happen to speak a little Dutch or you know someone who does, they can learn the scriptures in Dutch and also in Chinese. If you happen to know someone who speaks Chinese and we're working on, guess what, Japanese and French. So hopefully we'll have the Word of God in all the world. The Bible says that the Word of God will cover the earth as the water covers the sea. And that's a pretty good covering. We'd also like to let you know about a little song tape called open your heart and on this little song tape that we put together are scriptures that children can learn parents we've had some children write to us and say my tape ran out I played it so much it just quit playing so that's a blessing and you know what they memorized almost all the scriptures on this tape and they could quote Psalm 1 Psalm 23 and all kinds of scriptures just by hearing it sung and as you can see here I like to show you the badges there's 12 of them all together 12 badges now, you can't buy them. You have to earn them. How do you earn them? By hiding God's Word in your heart. This is badge number one. And this is badge number two, by grace through faith. Badge three talks about you shall receive power by the Holy Spirit. And badge four is talking about witnessing as the stars forever. You can shine. Badge number five tells us that we're not to live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Badge number six tells us we're in a spiritual warfare. We need the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Badge seven tells us that we must follow Jesus to be a disciple of His. We must forsake all to follow Him. And badge number eight tells us that by the stripes of Jesus, we're healed. It'll give us faith-building scriptures to claim our healing from the Lord. And here is praise God with all my heart. Badge number eight. Eight. Excuse me, badge number nine. 
And then badge number 10 will teach us about prayer. Call on me and I will answer thee. Show thee great and mighty things that thou knowest not. I really like badge 11. And we, we have a t-shirt with badge 11 that's real cute. It says, the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, and all the good fruit of the Spirit. And the last one, badge 12, it says, it is done. You can see the hands of Jesus pierced for you and for me. And this program is such a blessing, not only for children, but for parents, teenagers, grandparents, all ages. There's no limit, and there's no uh, anything on the Word of God to keep it from being read by anyone. It's for all ages. You get that? Now, I want to show you one thing here that I have on a poster. Oh, look, we have the badges here in Chinese. Isn't that beautiful? We have all the 12 badges now in the Chinese language. And on the back here, I have them in Spanish. Yo tengo las placas en español también. And there's the first, the second. They're all here, all 12 in the Spanish language. And we find that the Spanish and Mexican and Latin young people, they really learn the Word of God because they're not distracted by a lot of things maybe we are here in the States. And they really hide the Word in their heart. And looky here, we have it in French as well. Serrez la parole dans votre cœur. That means hide the Word in your heart. And here it says, Par la grâce, par la moyen de la foi. By grace through faith. You can learn the scriptures in French. If you would like to learn a language, there's not a better way to learn a language than to learn the scriptures in that language. And now we come to our song that we're going to all sing together. If you open your Bible to Psalm 1. That's the first psalm in the book of Psalms near the middle of your Bible. Psalm 1, it says, if you can follow me here, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. We don't want to walk in the counsel of ungodly people. You see this guy here? He just passed up all of his drinking friends, all of his smoking friends, his cussing friends, cheating, lying friends. He just walked on by them. And because he remembered we're not to walk with that. Nor stands in, in the way of sinners. That S on the sinners looks a little bit snaky to me. I don't like that. So we don't want to stand, walk in the counsel of the ungodly, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of the scornful. We don't want to do that. But what do we want to do? It's not enough just to not to do something. What are you doing? It's not what you don't do. It's what you do do. What are you doing? But here's the answer. His delight I love this word. Look at it closely. Delight. Look at all the lights. There's a candle. There's a bulb. There's a flashlight. His delight. God's word will give you light to your soul. Is in the what? Law of the Lord. Do you delight in God's word? Do you love it? Will you read it day and night? And looky here. In his law, in the law of God, doth he meditate day and night. Isn't that beautiful? I just love this song that we're going to sing now. It's called Psalm 1, The Blessed Man. And if you can open your Bible to Psalm 1, it also has a few other verses in there. You can learn to sing this with us. May God bless you as you begin to hide God's Word in your heart and make it your delight. Psalm 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. His delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doth he meditate. His delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doth he meditate. Day and night. Day and night. Day and night. 
Singers, Box 6424, Katy, Texas, 77491. And here we are on the Little Preacher's Corner, and today we have Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi. How old are you now? Six. Six years old. How'd you get so big? <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> That's good. What you got? You're hanging down there. Tape recorder. Your tape recorder? Tell me about it. Well, at night time, when we go to bed, I turn it on, and and I, I keep it on, and everybody, so everybody can hear it. So everybody can hear it? So you listen, what's in there? Is that a scripture tape? It's the New Testament. Oh, the New Testament? And you listen to that when you go to bed every night? Yes. Oh, that's a good idea. We just heard Psalm 1 a few minutes ago about meditating in God's Word day and night. Hey, that's a good way to meditate in the night, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Listen to your tape recorder when you go to bed and get the Bible on cassette. Very good, Mary. That's a good tip for all of our little preachers out there. Praise the Lord. <coughs> oh, there's Busy <coughs> Bee. Hey, Busy. <coughs> Matthew 24, 44, be also ready. Be ye ready? Yeah. Be ye ready? Uh-huh. Hey, hey, Mary, you know what? If we memorize God's word, we're going to be ready, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ready for whatever we need to do. That's great, Busy. Mary, you'll be ready when Jesus comes back. That's right. Matthew 24, 44, be, be ready. ready.
Remember, boys and girls, this is Hardy telling you to read your Bible and pray every day. And thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. That's right, Hardy. We want to hide God's word in our heart and get the boys and girls to join the Hide the Word in Your Heart Club so they'll be strong Christian soldiers. Isn't that right, Hardy? Hey, I have my badge, Books of the Bible. Oh, yeah, that's right. 66 books in the Bible. You can get a Books of the Bible badge. You can win 12 badges. And, boy, it's great. And you get so inspired when you start hiding God's Word in your heart and you get healthy on the inside. Isn't that great? Heart vitamins. <laughs> that's right. Vitamins for your heart. And it'll make you strong like Paul was trying to get strong but the way to really be strong on the inside is to read your bible and pray every day and memorize god's word and you can do it by joining the hide the word in your heart club memorizing only 10 verses that's right miss adria so remember boys and girls hide god's word, word in, in your, your heart, heart and read your bible every day and pray and be a strong christian soldier for jesus amen